we already assembled it with the threaded rod it's gonna be all the terminals here I'm gonna be wiring these batteries in parallel so taking the negative from this side goes to the negative it's just just keep jumpers jumpers all the way and do the same thing right there right there right there right there and here positive so I can able to draw from the bottom here negative and I can pull from the positive at the top right here so this is how the batteries are the assemble this is what it is this is the beast right here battery hookup so this is uh, Sanyo UR18650W uh, manufactured by Panasonic um, according to the specs it says about uh, 52 cells and is uh, 1600 amp hours rated each module is a 25 amp hour and it can push up to about 100 amp And if you have a fuse on it, inline fuse can pull up to 150 amp hours. So this is the guy. So let's put it up straight and you guys can see it. Well, before that, um, I'm using the stainless steel Hicks nut. So this is um, 832. So it has almost 135 of them here. That's what I'm gonna use to uh, put on the thread threaded rods here so I can tighten it up and it can be stable and uh, from there we put this thing upright look at this battle tank it's just a beast look at that get it all the threaded rods if I want I can put a shrink wrap into this to make it really stable because of this little flange or whatever you call them Connectors, they're not that strong enough. I think what I'll do, I'll drill a hole right in the middle here and pass a, a third rod all the way here to stabilize this thing from going moving around, which I already started here. You can see the hole right here. Yeah. I think that's what I have to do to get these batteries all stabilized. I got the other one at the bottom. Right there. So I can able to get it <clears throat> well stabilized and it's not gonna go anywhere. Check this out. So 25, 25, 50, 25, 25, 50. So 25, 25, 50, 150 amp hours. 48 volt system right here JW Solar USA thanks for watching we are still on the fabrication making things really awesome here's my battle tank right here it's a beast built by JW Solar USA thanks better hook up love you guys like and subscribe bye for now This is not pretty, but it works. I don't like the tape, but hey, I gotta do what I gotta do. Because one thing I've learned is um, this battery at the bottom, if you can recap, rewind the video, they have a groove underneath where um, the groove for the 18650s. The way they are loaded into that uh, cassette and um, I have to uh, strap them in twos that's what I did and two modules two modules in parallel two modules in parallel and I cannot series this at all so I'm using a duct tape um, I got from the store today I was gonna use something fabricate I mentioned that so I can put a, a rod all the way like just like this one's here. But not knowing that there's a, a nut on the corner right there. See it? 
right there. So that's the one that's responsible to hold this uh, case. This is how you detach it. You can open this guy and open up. You can see all the 18650 batteries in there. So I decided to go this way. I already paralleled this and I use a two gauge, yeah, a two AWG. Um, so now I already have in parallel. So I just have to take the negative from this side and positive to this side and go to the boss and do the same thing here. Okay, here, because you're drawing, pulling the power from this side, you want to do the opposite side. Here to here, and we have two wires going to the boss. The same thing applies to here and here and go to the boss. So I just have to have a three wires because there's six modules here. Um, uh, two strings of twos. And that's what I did. That, that's what, well, that's what I did. So I have a two modules in parallel, two modules in parallel, two modules in parallel. And just going to tap that and bring it to where it's supposed to be. So I try, I don't, I don't want to take out the PCB board just because of, um, I want it to stay there in case in the near future I want to use, um, uh, um, uh, BMS or whatever I can able to do that I have to tape this one too because a little wire see that wire like a fuse that um, connect to the PCB board right here so these are the terminals if you want to connect your um, or your thing so BMS so this is what I've created and this is the back here the back doesn't have anything so it doesn't have a opposite terminals on the side so this is this is it and there's a red wire here I don't know if it goes right there on the PCB but well I don't worry about it because they indicated that this is just a board that communicates with the main uh, control module of the vehicle well this is what it is and two hot two gauge wire and um i already have this made before for the volkswagen eagle so we're going to be having now in parallel so 25 this is a 50 50 and 50 so module one two and three here and uh we're making some power all right yeah, 150 amp hours, 48 volts. So that's why I gave it some beefy wire because you can able to pull up to about 150 amps, 100 to 150 amps if you have a inline fuse on that. And that's what the specification uh, said, but We'll see. But the sad news again, guys, before I let you go, um, the the Kotec that, um, which is kind of like a Samlex, um, I showed you guys before, and the Kotec now is bad. I end up checking the Kotec, connecting the thing that's just a spark. That's a huge uh, uh, um, surge. So, I don't know. I think the Kotec had a problem. Maybe that's why I decommissioned the Kotec back back then, but I didn't remember uh, why I decommissioned the Kotec. I thought I was just retiring the Kotec, but it was when I opened it, there's a fuse. The fuse inside is just like the fuses you have for your vehicle. So, it's a 20 amp fuse. Um... Uh, 80 volts so they're designed for 48 volts so that's what happened and the uh, fuse was burnt and um, I tried to bridge the fuse just to see if I, we can test these modules now it's just a huge um, surge
so I don't want that anymore. So, yeah, sitting here, maybe it's gonna go for parts. Well, I don't use parts like other people do. You know, I don't monkey around with those kind of stuff. Well, anyway, this is what it is, and this is how we're gonna stop. And we're just gonna wait for our wires. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna drop the wires since these are just um, um, low amperage, and uh, I think I can I can get away with the edge gauge. It edge gauge out is a 48 volt, so it reads about uh, 50 54.6 at uh, 4.2 volts band cell. All right, okay. We might probably see this one in action. Who knows? We might probably try with uh, this guy here. You never know. Just for fun. So that's going to be the first thing. So I I, I stop right now running, um, doing this uh, Victron because I'm still waiting for parts and uh, to complete the one old install. Like and subscribe. JW Solar USA, Command Center, Minnesota. Thanks for watching.